All right, good morning. Let's see. Wait about one or two minutes here. Happy Friday, everybody. I think I saw someone trying to hop on, but let's see. It said your participants are waiting. I don't know where you guys went. Let's see. All right, about 30 seconds. I'm just going to send one quick message and we will kick things off. If anyone hops on, they can just join on in. All right, guys, ready or not, let's do this. Just about 7.31 on the dot. If anyone hops on, feel free to jump in wherever we're at. Otherwise, we get a 10 round type of Friday here and we had another good question uh, submitted last night. So I will answer that at the end. So let's do it. Let's spread on out here. First things first, we'll start with some leg swings up and across. Just opening up this hip here. Nice tall chest. There we go. And then we'll switch it on out to the other side, up and across here. And guys, if you see me squinting, I don't have my contacts in. I'm getting um, LASIK next Friday. And last one there. So if you see me squinting, that's why. And then I'll be a whole new person after next week. So next one, we're gonna tap our heel, reach down and pull that toe towards your shin alternating side send it oh there you are hey deb good morning we just got started so we'll be pulling up on that toe there we go and then next one here we're going to crisscross one leg in front of the other and reach down towards the toes we'll hang on out at the bottom here come on guys and then we'll stand it up we'll crisscross the other side just going to put you on mute for one second all right, jump on in my friend. We're just crisscrossing the other side here, reaching down towards those toes. Then we'll stand it on up. Next one, we'll grab one knee and pull it into the chest and we'll be alternating sides here, hugging that knee in nice and close. Exactly. Oh, we got one more on each side here, pulling that knee in, excellent. Next one, we are gonna grab the outside of the shin and pull that leg par parallel with the ground here. Trying to get into the sides of our glutes, sides of our hips. Very nice, we'll do one more knee cradle here. And then next one, we have our quad stretch. We got one arm up, grabbing our foot and pulling our heel to our butt, keeping those knees close together and switch. Knees nice and close, hips are tucked. And we'll do one more on each side here. Try to get those knees even closer. And then last one. There we go, then we got feet nice and wide to the side. We're gonna reach down and touch the opposite toe, sending the hips down and back. And bending whichever leg we're reaching towards here. Very nice. Then we're gonna stand it up nice and tall and we'll get into our hip circles, lifting our leg front, side, and back. 
mixed up the order just a bit today. Full circles up and around. Exactly, trying to keep the knee above the waist. And then last one here. And then we'll switch it out to the other side, up and around, up and around little Joe down underneath me here. Full circles, knee way up. There we go, we'll do two more here. Beautiful, and then last one. Next one, we're gonna come down into a high plank. And I'm going to have my back leg straight, step through. We have a nice long lunge here. Stretch it out that back leg and we'll step it back and switch it on out. Keeping that knee straight and pressing the back hip towards the floor. We'll step it back one more time here. Now we're gonna twist towards the front leg, getting a little bit of the spine involved as well. Replace the hand, step it back and step on through. Turning again towards the front leg. And we'll do one more on each side here with that stepping through, adding the twist, trying to go even further this time. And then last one here, big step, turn, and we'll stand it on up. We got one more for the lower body. Big step back, back knee down on the ground. Exhale, arms up. And then one last step on the other side. Big lunge, arms up tall. And good there. Then we'll get into our neck a little bit here. Fingertips pulling down towards the ground. Nice and gentle, tilting the ear towards that shoulder. And still pulling the fingers towards the ground. There we go. Then we're gonna look to the right and look to the left. Still pulling those fingertips down. Got one more here. And then last one for the neck, we'll do chin down and head back. Still keeping that nice long neck, shoulders pulled towards the floor, last one. Very nice there. Then we'll get into our arm circles, reaching up and back. Nice, slow circles here. Trying to keep the shoulders square with the front of the mat. And then reverse directions, bring that arm forwards here. Do three circles forwards. Very nice. And then next side here, reaching up and back. Oh, watch out, Joe. We got crazy in the corner. We got one more circle back. And then we'll reverse directions, bringing that arm forwards here. Three circles forwards. Very nice. Then we got our arms up by our ears, some small, fast circles going backwards. And then we'll start to make those arms out to the sides. And then all the way down by our sides. And then we'll reverse directions back up to the top. All the way up, beautiful. Last two for the upper body here. We got arms to the side. Flip one shoulder down, one palm up, and pull those arms away from each other here. And we'll switch it on out. Pulling those fingertips away. And then we got one more on each. Flip the whole shoulder, reaching through those fingertips. And then last one, pulling those arms apart. And then final one for our warm up. We got elbows at 90 degrees, one arm down, and then side bend across. Then we'll switch it on out, switch the arms, reach down the side. Very good there. We got last one on each. Flip one arm, exhale, side bend. There we go. And then last one here. All right, perfect. So give me one second here. Just gonna do a little adjusting. All right, Deb. So we have 10 total rounds today. We have four different circuits. Each of those circuits will have four exercises performed for 30 seconds each. Our first two circuits, we got three rounds and our last two, just two rounds. 
Um, I told everyone at the beginning, I don't have my contacts in because I'm getting LASIK last Friday. So if it looks like, next Friday. So if it looks like I'm squinting or I'm like trying to look down at the board, that's why. So I can still kind of see you though. So all good. But just watching me for our first couple of movements. Exercise number one, we're gonna start with a tempo air squat, hands behind the head. We'll do about three seconds down, three seconds up. Exercise number two, we have fast feet moving side to side. So it's fast with the feet, side to side steps. Exercise number three, you're gonna be down in a low plank and we're gonna rock ourselves front to back, rocking forwards on the toes, pressing the toes forward and then pushing the heels back. And then our last one, we have a jumping jack or as we did last week, that side to side step, making sure not to go too far to the side. So thumbs up if we're ready to go, yes. We're gonna start in five seconds with that tempo air squat. Here we go, three, two, one, nice and slow. Slow tempo squat, exactly. And since this is our very first round of the 10, we'll kind of ease our way in here. Super slow motion on the squat and we're exactly halfway through. Just like that, keeping those shoulders pulled back. We'll do one more rep and then we got that fast beat, side to side shuffle. Here we go, side to side. Watch out little Joe, we got fast feet. <laughs> there we go, exactly. Staying low, keeping those feet nice and wide, and thinking about pushing the hips back behind. We got 15 more seconds here until we're down into a low plank. Almost there. Last couple steps. We got three, two, one. Down in the low plank here. Down the elbows, and we're rocking front to back. Just a little rock here, keeping those hips low. Belly button pulled in. And if we need to, we can drop down to the knees. We're gonna try to keep it rocking. We got about 10 more seconds down here. Keeping those hips nice and low. Almost there. Last three, two, one. We'll stand it up. And we got those jumping jacks or that little tap to the side. Doesn't take much. Otherwise, jump in here with me. There we go, nice soft landings, exactly. Just that small little step to the side. We got 10 more seconds, keep it moving. Starting our Friday off strong. Last three, two, one, and time. Whew. Shake it out, we're awake now. All righty, round two coming up in 15 seconds. Now we can start to push our pace here. We're warmed up, we're awake. Here we go. Hands behind the head, slow squats in three, two, one, round two. Nice and smooth. Exactly, just like that. Thinking about pushing those hips back. Pulling the ground apart with our feet. Very nice here, nice and wide with the elbows. Slow motion lowers, we got one last rep here. And then right into those fast feet. In three, two, one, here we go. Feet nice and wide. Little faster on that side to side shuffle. Hips will stay back. Oh, Joe's coming in for the fast feet. There we go. We got 15 more seconds here. Keeping the hips pushed behind. Under 10. Nice job, Dad. No way to keep it moving there. We got three, two, one. Down in that low plank. Here we go. Down on those elbows. Front to back rock. Keeping the hips extra low here. Maybe even a soft bend in the knees to keep those hips low. 
There we go. Small movement front to back. We got just under 10 seconds here. Last couple reps. We got three, two, one. We'll stand it on up right into those jumping jacks. Here we go. Jumping or stepping, just got to keep the body moving. Very nice, just like that. Finding that rhythm. We got 15 seconds to go. Almost there, nice work, steady moving. We got five seconds, four, three, two, time. All right, heart rate's going. We got Crazy Joe. He's running around. <laughs> All righty. 10 seconds. Last round for legs. We are cruising on through. We'll get it ready in three, two, one. Last set for squats. Here we go. Nice and slow. Keeping that tall chest and really thinking about pushing the hips back to start that movement. Exactly, just like that. Pushing through the ground. We'll do about two more here. Keeping that nice tall chest. Beautiful work over there. Last rep. There we go. And then right into that side to side shuffle. Fastest set so far. Stay it on those toes, hips behind, and keeping those feet parallel. Yes, we got 15. Same pace for the last 15 as the first 15. Keeping it going. Almost. We got three, two, one. Down to that low plank. There we go. Down the elbows, hips are low. Pushing front to back. Nice, gentle rocks. Keeping those hips tucked underneath us. Fighting for this last plank. We got less than 10. Keep it rocking. Keep those hips tucked. Almost, we got three, two, one. We'll stand it on up. Right into that jack. Final 30 seconds. Legs will get a rest after this. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Moving on into the weekend. Oh yeah. Almost there, we got less than 15. Keep that same pace. Gotta finish circuit one strong. We got three, two, one, and time. All right. 100 calories, only 20 minutes in, not too bad. A little bit of water for you. And then we are gonna move on to some upper body coming on up. So, give me one second here. All right. So our first movement, we're going to start um, standing up. We're gonna have our thumbs up. We have a bent over T raise up and out to the side here. Trying to keep the thumbs vertical. Yep, exactly, with the, uh, with the ground. Our second movement, we're gonna come into the ground and we have a push-up into a narrow push-up. So I'm gonna do these from down on the knees here. Hips are forward. One regular push-up, turn the elbows forward. One narrow push-up, and then Deb, you'll be up on your elbows for that. Joe, look out. And then our next one, we're going to be flat on our stomach. Hey, hey, adding on to our Superman arch up. We're gonna do arch up, squeeze the upper back, and then lift the thumbs up to the side into a T, back to the middle and back down. And then our final exercise up on the hands, single arm reach here. And Deb, just like you did before, you're gonna do this single arm, single leg, reaches there. So let's get it started with that bent over T-raise. I'm gonna bring my clock over so I don't mess up on the time here. 
We are going to start in 10 seconds with the bent over T raise. Nice and smooth. Here we go. Move in in three, two, one. Forehead down, thumbs up. Lifting those thumbs up and out to the side. Super smooth here. Keeping the shoulders pulled down and back. Exactly. Arms should be directly horizontal to the side and thumbs as vertical as we can to the ceiling. We got 10 more seconds here until we're on to that push up to narrow push up. Last couple reps, three, two, one, and then we're down on the ground into that push up combination. Here we go, hips forward, one regular push up, turn the elbows, one narrow push up. Making sure those hips stay forward this whole time here. Pressing through the ground, chest all the way down, and elbows wide to the side. Very nice here. We got the last couple reps. Three, two, one. Flat on that stomach. We got Superman. Arch it up. Squeeze the upper back. Then thumbs up, in, and back out. So we'll only get about three to four reps here with this multiple direction movement. Lifting that chest, squeeze the back, thumbs up, back to the middle, and return down. Last one here. And then we're gonna press it up into that high plank. Deb, you're flat on that back. Doing the opposite arm, opposite hand. Everybody else, single arm, high plank, reaching that arm up to the ear. Should definitely be feeling the shoulders here, as well as the core. We got 10 seconds to keep on reaching. Almost there. Last three, two, one, and time. All right, definitely feel those shoulders there for sure. We'll take about 30 seconds, and then on to round two. All right, we got 10 seconds, and we're right back to that bent over fly. Feeling the back of those shoulders for sure. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, right down to it. Thumbs up. Those T raises right to the side. Keeping those shoulders pulled back. Thumbs way up to the ceiling. Yes, exactly. Making sure we're really bent over at the waist and that chest just slightly above the hips. We got one last rep here and drop it on down into that push up. Here we go. We got those hips forward, wide push up into that narrow push up. Trying to keep those hips forward here, showing the difference between those two variations. Elbows wide, and then elbows straight back. We got just 10 more seconds to keep on pushing. Last couple reps here. In three, two, one. Flat on that stomach, right to that Superman combination. We can move a little bit faster through these than we did last week, since we got less of a pause in the back. Just lifting, squeezing, reaching. About one second pause at each. We got last 10 seconds here, one last rep. And then right up into that core, here we go. High plank or flat on the back. If we're in this high plank, pushing the hand through the floor. If you're down on the back, pushing that lower back into your mat. And we got 15 more seconds here. Keep on holding strong, almost. We got just under 10. Keeping those hips nice and level. Last three, two, one, and time. All right, officially our halfway point there. Feeling good all downhill from here. Quick bit of water. We got one more set for upper.
Uh -huh. All right. We got 10 seconds. Final set, starting with that bent over T raise. We are up and ready to rock. Here we go in three, two, one. Thumbs up, last set. Right, Joe? Last set here. Last set. Keep on lifting those thumbs way up. Keeping that nice long neck. Shoulders pulled down and back. Exactly, just like that. We got 10 more seconds to go. Thinking about pulling those arms apart. We got one last rep and we're right down into those push-ups. Here we go. Hips forward, elbows back. 45 degrees and then elbows narrow to the body. Trying to exhale every time we push through the floor, just past the halfway point here. Getting that chest all the way down. Almost. We got five, four, three, two. Right into that Superman combination. Lift that chest, squeeze, and reach. Trying to take a one second pause at the top of each of those three segments here. Arms up by the ears, squeeze the back, and then reach the thumbs away. Should be feeling the backs of those shoulders, that upper back working. Almost there. We've got three, two, one. Right into that high plank. Last 30 seconds here. Push that hand through the ground, keeping those hips nice and level. There we go. Joe, come on over. We got a high plank. 15 more seconds. Reaching that arm up. There we go. Almost there. We got 10 seconds to go. Coach Joe is on the stopwatch over there, making sure we're staying honest. We got three, two, one, and time. All right. He had to make sure, just in case. Very good. We got just two more circuits to go. So you can grab a little bit of water and we have some lower body and a little bit of abs and then same thing with some upper body. So just watching me first, our first one here, we have a split squat, one foot in front of the other with two pulses at the bottom, only going as low as you need to. If that's just a little bounce here, that's okay. Otherwise, close to the floor, two pulses. We're gonna do 15 seconds on the left and 15 on the right, so it'll be pretty quick for that first one. Exercise number two, we have two different options. We're gonna do a crisscross drop squat jump. So crisscross, drop it down, crisscross, drop it down, or you're going to do just side to side, Squat, again, making sure you're not going this way, just a side step into that squat. Exercise number three, we're gonna be up in a high plank here, side to side, foot tap, or you could do that from the elbows, side to side, foot tap. And then our last exercise, also going to be 15 seconds on each side. We have reverse lunge and then driving the knee above the waist. 15 seconds on one side, 15 on the other. So we'll get started in 10 seconds with the split squat, double pulse. Remembering it's just 15 seconds on each. So we gotta be quick on the transitions. Here we go, three, two, one. Straight up, straight down with two pulses at the bottom. And we only got two rounds for these final two sets. So we're gonna fly on by. We got last one here, switch it out, other side. Quick on the other leg, right down to it. There we go, squeezing that back glute. As we lower it down, we got three, two, one, right into that crisscross, drop squat, or exactly that side to side step. Otherwise, jumping, crossing that leg, and dropping it low. 
You'll see why we're only gonna do two sets right after this exercise. Gonna be out of breath. We got 10 seconds. Keep on dropping it down. Five, four, three, two. Right into that high plank or low plank. Lateral side to side tap. Right down to it. So either up on the hands, down on the elbows, step in, that foot to the side. Keeping those hips down. We got just about 10 seconds to go until we're onto that reverse lunge to knee drive. In three, two, one. Stand it on up, reverse lunge, and then knee above the waist. Almost like we're running in place here. Running out of breath for sure. We got a couple more reps. Three, two, one. Switch it out, other side. Here we go. Nice tall chest. Driving through that front foot. Last couple seconds here. Three, two, time. Woo! That's why we only got two of those. A tough round there. All righty, 15 seconds, final set for legs for the day. Here we go. I'm gonna start with my other foot in front this time. Moving in three, two, one. Little double pull, split squat. Keeping that nice tall chest, squeezing that back glute, exactly, very nice stem. Little pulse at the bottom. Last one, and we'll switch it on out to the other side. Nice tall stance, little bounce at the bottom. Straight up, straight down. Last couple seconds, we got three, two, one. Right into that crisscross drop squat or that side to side squat step. Exactly. Nice soft landings here. I promise, last little push for cardio. We got 10 seconds to go. Just a little taste of it, almost. We got three, two, one. Right into that high or low plank. Lateral tap, keeping those hips low and level. Goal here is to keep those hips even. No rocking side to side. Pushing those hands or elbows through the floor. Last couple seconds. We got three, two, one. Right into that reverse lunge. Right down to it. Final 15 seconds on the, oh, each side here. That's okay, take your time. No rush here. Smooth moving. Almost. We got three. Two, one, switch it out. Final 15 for legs. Starting our Friday off very strong here. Almost there. We've got three, two, and time. All right. Definitely feeling that. Now we have just a little bit of upper body and abs, two rounds. And that'll be a wrap and a little Q&A. So we'll be back on the ground here. Our first exercise, we're gonna start with a push-up with a one second pause at the bottom. So my hips are forward, I'm gonna do this from the knees. Push up, hold one second, right back up to the top. Exercise number two, we have our tricep dip, we did these last week, hips up, just a little dip, send the elbows straight back. Exercise number three, we have two different options here. The advanced option, we have our bear plank, tapping the opposite hand and the opposite foot. Second option, you can just hold the bear plank, or the third option, down on the elbows holding the bear plank. So those are your three options there. And then our final exercise, 
getting the heart rate going. We got a no push up burpee. We can jump or step, jump the feet, jump it up, or hands down, step it back, step it up, and a stand. Big flex if we're ready for the last two. Let's go, yes. Okay, now we're ready. We are starting in 10 seconds with that pause push up. Get it ready, hips are forward. Three, two, one, pause, push up. A little one second hold and big press right up to the top. Sending those elbows back and big press through the floor. Making sure we're not resting the chest at the bottom, but actively holding strong about one, two inches from the floor. We got one last rep here. Press it on up and then right into that triceps dip. Fingertips forward, elbows straight back. Little dip and straight up. All it takes is a very small bend with those elbows. Don't want to do too much pressure on the shoulder. Just a little dip and should be feeling the back of those triceps and a little bit the front of the shoulders. We got last couple seconds. Three, two, one. And then right into that bare plank on the hands and feet or down on the elbows. I'm going to do the one where I tap my opposite hand and my opposite foot. The advanced one, otherwise, just holding that bare plank. Almost there. We got 10 seconds until we're on to that no push-up burpee. Last couple reps. We got three, two, one. Right up to it. Jump it up. Jump or step it back. No push-up burpee. Either way, just got to keep moving. We got... 15 more seconds here, just like that. We got a couple more jumps in five, four, three, two, and time. Quick 30 seconds, and we got one last round for the day. All right, let's see. There we go. Can't have no music for the last set. Here we go. Starting in 15 seconds, 10th round of the day. Everything we got left in the tank. Here we go. Get it ready. Pause push up in three, two, one. Hips are forward. Time to finish strong. Start the day strong. Here we go. Nice and active hold at the bottom. Hips forward and strong. Pressing ourselves up away from this ground. We got it. 15 more seconds here. Final set of push-ups for the day. Almost there. We got one last rep. And then right into that tricep dip. Here we go. Elbows straight back. Just that little dip is all it takes there. Keeping those elbows narrow. Sending them straight behind. A little stretch for the shoulders here as well. Almost there, we got 10 more seconds. I know those triceps are feeling it. Last round here. We got three, two, one. Right into our final minute. We got that bare plank, hand to foot, opposite tap here. Keeping those knees close to the floor, knees under the hips, and hands under those shoulders. We got just 10 more seconds, and then we're on to that burpee to finish. Nice job here. We got three, two, one, final 30 seconds. Everything we got left. Here we go, jump it back, jump it up. Core is tight in that high plank. Keeping that chest tall as we hop it up. We have 10 seconds to finish. Light at the end of the tunnel. We got one last rep to go. 
and time. All right, very good there. Round of applause, take a seat. We're gonna be flat on that back. One leg up and drop that knee into the ground, twisting that back, looking over the opposite shoulder. Just breathe in here. And we'll gently roll it over to the other side, shifting the hips, dropping that knee. And look over the opposite way, a little twist for the spine. And then we'll come on up here. We'll do just one stretch for the upper body. We got our thread the needle. Reaching one arm underneath, pressing that shoulder into the mat, reaching that arm away. And we'll gently switch it over to the other side, pressing that shoulder into the mat here. Very nice there. We'll make our way on up and then we'll do our little Q&A. Let's see, very nice work. Just gonna pause our music here. Give me one minute. Alrighty. And then, Deb, if you wanna take yourself off mute, feel free to do that. And then, first of all, how was your workout? Good. Thumbs up. Very good. How are you feeling this morning? Good, much better this morning. <laughs> a little more rested, very good. Well, we picked good days to do it. So first I'm gonna get into um, one person's question and then if you have anything you're thinking of or if you wanna go over any of um, the protein stuff, actually I can go over that today as well. So first I'll get into one person's question here and I'm just reading it off my um, computer. So let's see. So biggest success of the week um, was just kind of getting back into like a busy work schedule. So that's something that definitely will come up as we, you know, go back to work or whatever new schedule things come into our lives. Just being able to balance that, that was definitely a win for this person for the week. So whenever you have a hectic week, being sure to recognize like, hey, I did a good job at managing that. So always want to acknowledge our successes first. And then the biggest obstacle or challenge was a lack of sleep due to that schedule. So another thing, we talked about sleep a couple weeks ago and just trying to build sleep into like a new schedule. So I'll kind of bring this up again because I cannot reiterate enough how important sleep is. So this person, they wake up super early. So having a good nighttime routine is important. Uh, we mentioned a couple weeks ago doing things like turning off the phone, um, making sure not to be scrolling social media, um, trying to downplay any screen time, any TV about an hour before bed, maybe reading a book and having some sort of tea, some meditation, some sort of nighttime routine, um, but definitely trying to find ways to um, get to bed earlier, but yes, sleep due to schedule. So already kind of talked about those um, tips there. And then one last thing on that, since it is the weekend, if you did have like a crazy week in terms of you didn't sleep at night or your schedule changed, take the weekends to actually catch up and rest up, especially now since we can't really go anywhere anyways. Try to go to bed. Um, even though it's the weekend, you might think, oh, I could go to bed at 11 or 12. I don't have to wake up. But today, Friday and Saturday, try to go to bed around 9 or 10, even though it is the weekend, to try to catch up on the sleep that we missed during the week. Not ideal to have to catch up, but definitely use the weekend as some time to do so. So that's all I have on that. So Deb, do you have any questions that are lingering or top of mind or anything new from this week that you tried um, from last week? What's going on in, in your world? What you just said, I wanted to ask you too. So for me, the morning's meditation, but what's going on with all the dogs in my house and stuff that's not really working. 
so you're saying meditation at night and then i was just thinking too what kind of things do you like to listen to like if you could send me that some of the meditations or who you listen yeah perfect yes um so i would say with that morning routine as well so I actually also prefer to, I like to meditate to start my day because I do really feel like it sets the tone, but it is also a nice way to unwind from the day if you're feeling like, you know, you had a million things happen and your mind's thinking of tomorrow, it's thinking of, oh, what about, you know, this item on the to-do list? I think it's also a nice way to unwind as well. And then in terms of what I use to listen to, I use the app called Calm. And the reason they have that, they have different narrators. Um, they're all pretty good for different reasons. I think it depends what type of voice is like soothing to you. So they have female, they have men, they have people that have accents, no accents, softer voices, um, more, more kind of character voices. So I would say personal preference. Um, and then I like to listen to the sleep stories. So one thing, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I like to just listen to like forest sounds and that's all I need. But sometimes if my mind is thinking about um, a bunch of different things, the sounds aren't going to be enough to take my mind off of it. So depending on what I'm thinking, I might opt for a sleep story because I'm actually paying attention to the story. Um, and the background noise at that given night might not be enough for me to kind of like turn, turn my mind off. So sometimes I like to listen to the nighttime stories. And I also like that as like a replacement for TV. So this was one thing I would go through phases where sometimes I would be like a bad, like I watch TV at night type of person, which I don't recommend. But to try to replace that habit, I liked the sleep stories because it almost felt like I was watching a TV show, but I was listening to it. So you're not getting that visual stimulation that's gonna keep you up, but you're still getting that mental, um, relaxation of like separating yourself from whatever is happening in your life to some you know fiction story or they'll take you through like a you know night sky in Iceland so I'll send that over and I'll post that in our Facebook group as well um and then in terms of personal preference for me within the app um I like the author Tamara Leverett I think she's one of the main people she also does the daily ones so she, her voice is very familiar so I think that's why I like listening to her. She's very soothing, very predictable. Um, and then the ones that I personally don't like to listen to, more so because it's at night, is anyone who has like um, an accent or like a funny voice just because it's gonna entertain me and keep me up. Like I really like the soothing voices because I need to be kind of like calm down, whereas the ones that have like the Irish accent, which is really cool and like fitting to the story, but it's almost so, so good that it kind of keeps me up because I'm like, oh, this guy has a very amusing voice. So um, that's my little take on that. But if that's, if you haven't tried the Calm app, even if you do know how to meditate, um, they have so many other features in there that, that are good outside of meditation as well. So very good question there. And then um, with that too, it might be different every night. So maybe you want to try, you know, uh, nature sounds one time, try a story one time, and then kind of tr keep track as to which one made you fall asleep the best or the quickest, or you felt the most rested. So see which one works the best for you. All right. Very good there. Um, and let's see. So like I mentioned, so Deb, you and I are good for Monday, back to our usual schedule, 7.30. And then, like I mentioned earlier, um, next Friday, I'm actually getting um, LASIK done for my eyes. So I'm going to send you guys for next Friday a pre-done video so you can follow along. And then I have to take one week off. Um, so then I may be back the next Friday, but probably not, probably the Friday after that. So we'll have two weeks of kind of some replay videos, but all good. And then we'll be back to it. But you and I are good for Monday. And then I'll be... 2020 vision in 2020. So <laughs> all good things there. So I'll right. talk to you soon and then um, look for that. I'll send you the link to that app and then I'll also post it in our Facebook group and everyone else catch the replay in a couple hours. So see you guys Bye. then. Bye. Bye.